All right, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Paul Leo Jr. And uh, I don't know what I what I'm gonna put the description as, but basically, um, I ran out of uh, air, an air filter for my air purifier straight ahead, and um, after after doing like just you know a little bit of research, I actually found that. Uh, Fabric softeners, so I'm going to use Bounce, um, are actually a decent replacement uh, for air filters in general, where they actually do, um, you know, help you help, you know, if you are using it in an air purifier, at the least, I'm not saying put this in your car, but that it does help keep away like dust and allergens and pollens. And it also will make your house smell a hell of a lot better. So let's do this really quick. It's really not that difficult of a job. So, all right, let's see here. I'll turn her off. Okay. And on the back here, that's where everything comes in, right? Now this is what I did have on. You can see. Um, so there was something else here before, but that one was completely destroyed. So um, you can, if you can't actually see, you know that we actually did get some, uh, some, you know, some nasty stuff on here, but. Nothing that can't be remedied. So, all right, here's what we're gonna do. Is we don't have to cut anything. I mean, you can if you want to, if you want to make it precise, but it's, it's really not that big of a deal. And what I would say, so I only use two there, and the two seem to work just fine for me. Um, just in case you might want to double up because they are pretty thin, obviously, but they actually do the job, surprisingly. So, like I said, they do keep away, um, you know, allergens and so forth. Um, let's see here, I'm trying to get most of it in there. And they pretty, at least for this air purifier, they almost go directly in. And there's a little, at least on this one, there's a little piece of Velcro that will actually hold it into place as well. Um, you know what? This is what I did. Um, I made it fit the whole thing. I made it fit the, the whole purifier. And then I actually folded it over so that it would fit. That's basically how I did it right there. So, and we're going to do the same thing with the other one, where we cover everything and then fold it into place here. And I know this seems, <laughs> this might seem really bizarre. Um, I actually was using something like this for a patent that never came to fruition, but it is what it is, but it does work. So it has a lot of the same properties that, um, you know, that an, a regular air filter does have. So, all right, let's get started. Make sure everything's secure. Everything's back in place. Am I going in the right way here? Hopefully. Killing camera time here. Get that off. Okay. Back on. And let's go. Let's go to three. One, two, three. We can turn on the UV light. Um, that's actually good for other bacteria. So, like I said, you can, you can definitely see you can definitely see the difference um, comparing the old ones 
to, you know, what would be, you know, the one, the one that we just put in there. So that's definitely a big difference. So this definitely did the job. So now, obviously, yeah, it's always better to get the one that you are, you know, the one that is, is specified for your particular model. But if for whatever reason you can't do that, or you just don't have the time, whatever the case may be, you can do this. And now the air coming out of here is stronger than what it was. So, yep, stronger than what it was. And it actually smells pretty damn good. So, you get to purify the house and then also have the you know, whatever floor you're using it on smell pretty good too. So, uh, I hope this helped you, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, thanks for watching. Later.